Hello, my name is Steve Master, Corey Russell, and this next game is against a class player. The thing about class players is they do know a lot of basic openings, basic tactics, and strategy, but um, their knowledge is incomplete, and so they make inaccuracies. Inaccuracies masters can exploit. Let's go ahead and see what happens this game. D4, best by chess, according to Fisher. Civilian defense. This is the Smith Moore uh, opening. Um, Black does D3, actually pretty common. But if White knows what he's doing, he should get a slight advantage. I uh, don't want his knight to turn D5, so we stop that. And C4. This is the key move to get a slide range because C3 is the best square for the knight. And it's kind of a Maroxy buying kind of position. Um, the knight's control of D4 and E5 is very important. It's um, important enough that we want to prevent Bishop D4. So this kind of dragon setup. Let's put a lot of pieces. Little castle. So far, so good. Go through our bishop, back off. Um, the thing is, I can always kick, kick the knight with a3 uh, and then go back to d3. So, um, I didn't see any reason to give him the bishop. Kept it. So the per um there wasn't really a reason we could just basically seven f four and the game goes on. Um but he finally makes his first inaccuracy. He doesn't save the bishop. I see no reason not to take it, so I do. I was expecting queen take, I thought and then you don't be on my pawn. I probably have like queen b1. With the idea of like h3 and you know, kick, kick him. Um, this is what he should have done. He makes it his first inaccuracy. He does pawn take. Um, he does give him the f file. But now he has three pawn islands. I only have two, which gives me uh, an endgame advantage. So I really don't think it was worth it in this case. So I do an interesting idea. My idea is if he takes, which is what Fritz does commence, I can do this here, 54, and then I'm going to get the pawn back. Uh, because the only way to defend is this, but then of course I go 94, and then I get a pawn back with a slight initiative. Um, but he'd be alright, it's just not game over or anything. I was expecting, but no. He didn't go for that. He played back. And that was not correct. And so I play f4. And of course, the point is he can't take the pawn, obviously, because I just said, whoops, not that. Uh, I will, of course, snap a screen. Uh, but, but meanwhile, the pawn's a thorn inside. Uh, we understand he wants to strike back in the center, but this, well, at the least, we'll lose a pawn. So it wasn't one of the right way to go. That was definitely a mistake. Okay, let's kick him. I could just take the pawn and win a pawn, but I said, well, let's be a little different here. Um, so here I'm threatening C take D5. And of course, here's the obvious move to defend. I'm, All right, that's fine. I was expecting knight take, knight take, he has the queen take, queen take, pawn take, check, or take, and with, because of the bishop pair, I am slightly better. Oh, and the better pawn structure, too. So, that's the best I was expecting. This is not what he played. Surprisingly, he played this. And, of course, his point is bishop take, pawn take. 
he's thinking, okay, fix up this pause, and he can play on it. And it's probably true. And so here, I said, like, you know what? I don't have to take that risk. Let's just take your pawn. Because now, now I can take the risk. And he doesn't get the, that strong pawn uh, formation. So that was my thinking there. He actually did this, which is uh, another inaccuracy. Uh, and in fact, Fritz actually says I'm winning now. Take it back. Uh, he retreats. Um, Bishop's defending the pawn, so h4, so this way he does h5, which he did. Back off, I'm still protecting e6. I take the seventh. He says, hey, you take the A pawn. I said, you know what? That a, well, I can't do it right now anyway, so you take the four. But first, I protect that four. I could take that a pawn, but then there's the E pawn. I said, no, I can take this E pawn and protect the E pawn at the same time. So this seems probably okay to me. Uh, forks we're good bishop gotta take he says this is okay in this position they already I'm up what, two pawns so it's okay to do that I take the file so white is a building position and finally he makes the final mistake he's thinking okay if he can destroy my pawns and maybe get a strong bishop maybe he can try to draw this he tried this this idea of being here Check. And maybe you can try to hang on. Maybe. Um, but to find a move that really throws him for a loop, I play bishop b6. The point of this, if he takes, takes, it's almost the same thing, except in this position, his pawns are utterly busted. So I'd have an advantage of the busted pawns. Uh, so anyway, that's, that was why I did that. And the other thing, too, is if he saves his rook, I go rook take knight, and I win a piece, right? Of course, he can't do a bishop because his rook's not free. So, um, so either win a piece or I bust up his pawns and gets exchanged. And, you know, he was getting low time here. He just made just a holler. He accidentally played this, threatening g3, but of course, I just come back and... Uh, he realized it's time to give up, and he resigned. So that was my game against a class player. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.